Today is Orange Shirt Day, the day for remembering Indigenous children who died in residential schools and it's a day for honouring the survivors too. It was organised by grassroots Indigenous activists for many years before it was ad officially adopted as the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation by Canada. Phyllis Webstad is one of the founders of Orange Shirt Day. When she was sent to residential school as a child, her grandma gave her a beautiful orange shirt and the school took it from her on the first day. She never saw it again. So that's why we wear orange shirts on this day. The residential school stripped Indigenous children of their culture, their language, their names. They were labelled with a number instead of a name. And the school often prevented them from going home to their families in the holidays. When they did go home, they couldn't converse with many family members anymore as the survivors only spoke English and then many members of their families only spoke indigenous languages. Children were beaten, sexually abused, severely underfed and experimented on in these schools. The experiments were run by nutrition scientists trying to figure out how much food children need. Children were deliberately malnourished to provide this data. And the results of this research are the basis of the Canadian Food Guide. The research was conducted by the research to bring this to light was conducted by Ian Mosby at the University of Toronto. So you can check out more information on his website. All of the testimony of survivors is available from the report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission published in 2015. If you don't know about this, please educate yourself and your kids. And you can donate to the Indian Residential School Survivors Society, the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society, and the Woodland Cultural Centre's Save the Evidence campaign. I'll post the links down below. Follow Spirit Bear and Friends, which is the account of the First Nations um, Caring Society, and also Woodland Cultural Centre on Instagram and Twitter, and Campaign for Land Back. The residential schools were a way to hold Indigenous kids hostage so that Indigenous people wouldn't rebel against the theft of their lands. For more information, check out the Indigenous Peoples page on the Inclusive Wicca website, and I will add a link to that below. It also has a link links on it to donate. So once again, please educate yourself about this issue. Um, it's important and the many of the um, horrible practices are still going on. Ind Indigenous kids are still being taken away from their families uh, by social services and there are there's the horror of missing and murdered Indigenous women. Um, girls and two-spirit people and indeed men. So this is an ongoing problem and it can only be solved by giving land back to Indigenous people and restoring Indigenous sovereignty. Thanks for listening.